we do that, welcome to everyone at home on the uh, live stream here. We are watching the Grand Prix show jumping. Is uh, seven nominations stepping up in a tough competition designed by our international course designer from Queensland, Mr. Graham Watts, assisted by Aaron Gaffari. It is a two round competition. All those that complete the first round will be invited back to the second round. Our first horse out into the arena from uh, East Kalnura Heights on the, on the central coast of New South Wales. It is James Mooney riding uh, KPH Cavatina. And uh, KPH Cavatina and James Mooney. Great to welcome them here. Owned by Jill Hawker, Robert and Vicky King. We got to see two generations of the Moonies jumping here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. His daughter, Molly, didn't she have a wonderful show on that JB Evolution? A horse that has jumped here at the top level. The object of the game in show jumping is to try and keep your score at the best possible score of zero. Penalties incurred if you alter the height or width of any of the fences. This is a two round international competition. The Grand Prix, as big as we see here in Australia, this is set at a metre 50 plus. We are looking at an Olympic standard competition. In the year of the Olympics, we're a little lighter in number. I did a quick count the other day. 16 Grand Prix horses left Australia in the last 12 months to try and be one of four to represent Australia. A man who certainly will have aspirations, I'm sure, to be there one year. It is James Mooney. Stops the clock. 86.75. 86.75. Two rails down. Eight jumping penalties. Time allowed, 90 seconds. Time allowed, 90 seconds. Eight jumping penalties. No time penalties. A total of eight for James Mooney, KPH, Cavatina. Next out into the arena, we welcome Oaks Calypso and Brad Frankham. The doc, as we all refer to him. Current chair of the Equestrian New South Wales Board, a volunteer position where he gives his time, his expertise and knowledge to try and better the sport of equestrian here in New South Wales. A doctor and Medico was head of uh, medicine in uh, Western Sydney, based out at Campbelltown Hospital for many years. Now bases in private practice in the Western region of Sydney. A father of two. He rides the horse bred by Alice Cameron, it was great to see long-time uh, employer Nat here today. Nat, great to see you enjoying some uh, time off the farm. Oak Sport Horses, wonderful producers of uh, international quality horses. And if uh, you were a betting man, you'd almost take the odds on bet that God willing, uh, Larry Scott will be jumping and representing Australia on that beautiful Oaks Milky Way. Oaks Calypso on course, Brad Frankham in the saddle. So we'll carry our penalties from the first round into the second round. First round starts now. Second round will be on at quarter past three this afternoon. It's down this final line. It's the treble. 12A, 12B, 12C. Finish over fence number 13. Oh, Sydney, warm those hands up. Four rails down, 16 jumping penalties. 88.68, a total of 16 for Brad Frankham. Oaks Calypso. As we welcome out now, the gentleman who has been the leading rider here. I don't think he can be caught in the overall leading rider at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. He rides a horse by the name of Cooley Gangster. 
owned by Tim Boland, one of Australia's premier eventers. This Irish sport horse bred gelding was brought to Australia as an eventer. It really flourished and shone in the show jumping attributes. Who stands here today, fully gangster. Well, don't forget all about the RAS Foundation and a magnificent community grant scheme. And this year, the RAS Foundation will be distributing a record $700,000 back into rural and regional Australia via scholarships and grants. Something like nine agricultural shows are beneficiaries. And then there's so many scholarships for rural students. There's a prestigious Rural Journalism Award. Well, Tim Dreverman, I just wanted to mention that we've just seen a work out of our contender. It's catalogue number 1601, and it was second place to our champion in the Open Pony class, not exceeding 12-2. But those are wonderful RASF scholarships. They help small towns, shows, country kids get an education at the tertiary level. It's really profound in the impact they have on individuals and on whole communities. And we can support the Royal Agricultural Society Foundation by buying one of the give and gather bags. We certainly can explore the showgrounds and gather an incredible range of exclusive giveaway discounts. The give and gather bag elevates your day here at the show. But also, Lindsay Douglas, you could uh, go online to the RAS Foundation, Google it, or keep an eye on the big screen because I have seen the QR code popping up. There's a raffle. Tickets are only $5 and over $19,000 in prizes. First prize is a trip for four to the Cook Islands. Tom McDermott, rider on course. One line left to go. He's all clear at this stage. Is this our first clear round? Tom McDermott, coolie gangster, comes down to the final fence. Come on, Tom. Clear round. With the excitement of a clear round, we now bring the excitement back to ring number one. The reserve champion, Australian national, Pony Hack, not exceeding 12.2 hands. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, please join me in congratulating catalogue number 2011, Miss Gemma Wells from Jamboree with DP Party. Well, the winner of our child's pony class, over 12 to not exceeding 14 hands, sired by Langtree, Snap Happy, and out of the dam, Rothwell, Remember When. Well, just while we put the ribbons on, Lindsay Douglas, we um, welcome out into the show jump arena, the current Australian show jumping champion from Glen Morgan Vale in Queensland. We welcome out Fairview, Ali Kana, and... Stuart Jenkins. Well, the super little jockey on board, just getting the photos now. We're just going to get some photos. It's all important to get legs straight, ears pricked, smiling rider.
Well, Jess Sharp, congratulations to you. What a beautiful reserve champion we see here today. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, your work out there for the owners. Um, she was pretty tired and I'm pretty hot, but I'm very happy with the way she worked. Um, I don't ride her much, so I was yeah, very happy with the way she worked. Thank you to the Plums for letting me ride her and her owners, and thank you to the sponsors of this class. DP party going into the history books now. Congratulations, little Jessica Sharp there from Victoria, a beautiful reserve champion and the champion going the way of Ascot, Barbara Ann. Second clear round, Lindsay Douglas in the show jumping, no jumping penalties, no time penalties. Clear round number two for Fairview, Ali Karna. Well, results on the far side of the arena and what a wonderful class this is. Class number 780, the parent and child riding competition. Congratulations to the winners. Catalogue number 3206. It is the pair of Miss Angelina Latter and Miss Amani Rodum from Pitt Town here in New South Wales. Second place going to catalogue number 3207, Miss Elsie Ma and Miss Phoebe Ma's nomination. And uh, mother and daughter, congratulations. Third place going to catalogue number 3208, Miss Samantha Ray with Miss Master Jack Ray from Orangeville. Well done to our pairs, parent and child. Great competition on the far side of the arena. And uh, well done to our winning pair, Angela and Amani. And uh, taking out the winning pair in the parent and child here this afternoon in the NG Stadium. Well, next out into the arena, we welcome the next of our show jumpers stepping up from the Group A Section 2 competition. This is the one and only Jamie Winning Kermond, and she rides John and Winning's nomination, Yandu Honolulu, Sonic as they're known around the stables. Yandu Honolulu, Jamie Winning Kermond. Next combination here in the arena. Well, the delightful Janet Murphy here. You're judging our Welsh ponies today, having a blast. Well, I've only had one class of the of the ridden so far, but I had a great time this morning with some really beautiful ponies, and very happy with my final lineup and um, and my final supreme. Janet, where have you travelled from? Um, Euroa in Victoria. Pleasure to have you here. Enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, all the action here in the East Side Riding Academy broadcast box. Jamie winning Kermond, 12 jumping penalties, 86.53, no time penalties, a total of 12. Next out into the arena will be Annalise Wanzi riding Texas. Lindsay Douglas, you look like you've got a lovely pair of riders with you. I do, it's mother-daughter combination. Angela and Armani, congratulations on your success today. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Nothing quite so beautiful as getting to ride with mum. Yeah, I love it. Tell us about these horses, Armani. Um, so I own him, and then Tracy and Zali Cameron own him, which we love that they let us borrow him. A special day for you both, mother and daughter. Put your hands together for them, Sydney. Angela and Armani, our parent and child rider winners. Well, out of uh, the Southern Highlands, we welcome the young gun. Texas by Calgary GNZ out of RR Triple X, owned by the Wanzi family. King Ranger performance horses, Texas. And uh, Annalise, this horse started its career 
well, made the waves in its career, I should say, with Sarah Louise McMillan, purchased as a young horse, Texas. And uh, Annalise, two clear rounds so far, Cooley Gangster, Fairview Alicana in our show jumping. This is the first round of a two round competition. Penalties from the first round will be carried through to the second round. Second round will start at quarter past three this afternoon. It'll be a re-course walk. New course. And the riders will be given the opportunity to walk the second round. Set at a height of a metre 40. This horse stepping up from the Group A Section 2. It's a combination of Section 2 and Section 1 coming together. Annalise Wanzi. And of course, all the action today coming to you live from the Eastside Riding Academy based at Centennial Park. Young or old, experienced or novice, if you would like to experience the joy of riding a horse, Eastside Riding Academy is the place for your dreams to become a reality. Look them up online, eastsideridingacademy.com.au. Go and see them at the beautiful stables at Centennial Park at the Moore Park Entertainment Quadrant. And uh, it is a place where dreams come true. Two rails down for Texas. And uh, Annalise Wanzi stops the clock. 86.11. Eight jumping penalties. No time penalties. A total of eight for Annalise Wanzi and Texas. Well, Tim Dreverman, you talk about the Eastside Horse Riding Academy. They're actually just launching today their April school camps where you go out for a full day and you get to go riding and caring for ponies and you do it in a group of friends a ton of fun but if you want to get more serious about your riding you can sign up for a full semester of weekly tuition and uh, the junior jockeys program is one of the favorites as well as the birthday pony days where you can have a unicorn you can have a pirate horse it's just a lot of fun and don't have a full day to ride but still want to experience we'll talk to them about their junior jockey camp it's from nine till one and your child will enjoy a one hour lead pony riding session along with engaging horse care pony play and fun activities available dates in april including monday the 15th and friday the 26th of this month the perfect opportunity for your little one to create unforgettable memories. Don't miss out. Reserve your child's spot today at eastsideriding.com.au. Well, horse on course now. The leading Group A Section 1 horse here in 2023. Competing for yet another year here in the Grand Prix show jumping event. The Frank Thomas Memorial Perpetual Trophy will be awarded here this afternoon. If we go back over the history books, it was this horse here, defending champion, that won this competition in 2023. Tom McDermott won it in 21 and 22. 2019, and go right back to 2018. Good mate of mine, Clint Beresford, Emmerville Jitterbug. So can our defending champion win the competition here again in 2024? Two clear rounds, she's carrying the four jumping penalties, so one fence at this stage comes to this last line. This is a long course over a big track, 560 metres, just over half a kilometre in distance. Well, it's rare that you see that. So, uh, four penalties for disobedience. The last fence plus the time keeps ticking. Amanda Madigan, safely over the last.
102.52 the time taken. Eight jumping penalties. 13 time penalties, a total of 21 for Time and B Vivian. So that concludes the first round, Lindsay Douglas, in uh, this very special Grand Prix show jumping event. The Frank Thomas Memorial Perpetual Trophy donated by the family of Mr. the late Mr. F. K. Thomas to the owner of the winning horse in the Grand Prix. And uh, we will be back with the second round at quarter past three this afternoon. This is the Melbourne Cup of uh, show jumping. It's the Melbourne Cup of the show horses as well. This is the big one, the group one, because we have the champion pony. Oh, we absolutely and under do. 14 coming Look, into the arena. Four exhibits out there now, the winners of uh, their respective height classes. So we have our open pony exhibit out there, which is the successful campaigner from the over 12 to and not exceeding 13 hands class. That's uh, number 1613 Nottingham Royal Highness exhibit.